welcome to Mandatory Update. I'm Elise Williams. I mean, Hank. Today we are joined by introducers Alex Preston, Teddy Deef. And you guys work on Hyperlight Drifter. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yes. How so many How many thirds of the total team are you? That's We're two ninths. Oh my Ooh. gosh, we already tried to do the math two on this. Nine? We just did the math and that it was great. So that's <laughs> the best math. How many thirds is that? It's like 22%. What? But how many thirds? Uh, that's two thirds of a third. Actually, it's exactly two thirds of a third. Boom. Two thirds of a third. Whoa. You're really killing it today. Yeah. Today. That's why I make the math happen. <laughs> so two over three over three of the Hyperlight Drifter team. Yep. Is here. Hello. Guys, are to make me. games. We're making games. So we're going to talk a little bit about Hyperlight Drifter. We're going to talk about some other topics and news, and then, as usual, things will just come as they are. If you prescribe that they're going to come as they are, though, what if they don't? What if things stay slow and rigid the whole episode? We'll have to find out. We'll have to embark on that journey together. Stay tuned for next week for on news. Hyperlight Drift. They just end the, the show. show. The end. Yeah, that's the end. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for that coming by. Who picked the name Hyperlight Drifter? It's uh, my pizza man. Is that really? true? No. <laughs> no. So, so you called, you my called pizza, pizza Hut and you said, you pizza, said, I want pizza. I called pizza. my pizza man. What kind? Oh, you called your pizza man. What's yeah. his name? Uh, John Pizzaman. John Pizzaman. <laughs> uh -huh. And you, I've what kind of pizza did you order? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Yeah. What makes it pepperoni? Well, it's got a little bit of popcorn on it. Also. Oh, oh, I thought that dads liked yeah, it. Yeah, I thought that they chopped up a dad and put it on. No, good Alex slices. was like, "Go light on the cheese," and he was like, "You want me to go hyper light?" And he was like, "Yeah." <laughs> and then you like... drift right into my driveway, baby. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought maybe you asked under special instructions, you put like, "Give us a name for our game." Oh. Mm. On the pizza. <laughs> That would be on the pizza. That would be an amazing return. That would be really good. If he gave us that name. Second driveway, the yeah. down the block, please don't like honk a, the horn. It's a million dollars. And you're already like halfway into making the game and it yeah. just like fit perfectly yeah, thematically. You're like, wait, how did you even know? What a, what a thoughtful <laughs> delivery, man. Yeah. Well, that's just John Pitzeman. Yeah. Pitzeman. <laughs> His name is changing by the moment. <laughs> Jan Pizzaman Jan Pizz <laughs> was a very Jan. nice lady. Um, she was a wonderful caretaker. Yeah. Well, so he doesn't do anything for you on the game development team now, just, right? Just gave us the name. Just gave you the name and then he said it. And I'm a side out. salad. <laughs> there was actually that pizza menu showed up to our stick? Kickstarter. No, there was. Uh, we, oh, had, yeah. we had a Kickstarter closing party and uh, some of the backers sent, a, sent John Pitzeman to us. <laughs> It's Jan Pizman. Jan, Jan Pizman. Pizman. Jan Pizman came with pizzas, and they brought us pizza. And then yeah. someone else did the same thing with Jack Pizman, but didn't pay. So we had like <laughs> mandatory <Damn>. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, Look, I'm sending you pizza that you, you have to pay be. for. Wasn't that a wasn't that a big prank in the '90s where you'd order a bunch I, of pizza it and send it to somebody? And now yeah. when people Twitch stream, I mean, you can get swatted, but sometimes people just that's order a, pizza and send it to you. How do See, people get people's like addresses? Next, it's the 2000s. You give it to them. It's the aughts prank. It is the, the pizza prank. I think we DM'd somebody the address, although the address is public. So. Speaking of swatting, when I woke up this morning, there were three police helicopters and a cop car that, like on the street next to me. Were you under arrest? The helicopters were in the eye, in the air. Did they arrest you? No, was I got it? away. They they didn't find me. That's I was crazy. like, oh shit, I better play it cool. He said, you can't catch you me because I'm fucking innocent. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, Elise, can I come to your apartment? Yeah. How did you get away? Did you put on like sunglasses and a, smoke a cigarette and just whistle on your way out? Did yeah. you dive into no, a pile of hay? I got a cardboard box <laughs> mm, and then okay. I slowly scuttled down the sidewalk. Sure. One of the cops was like, huh? Yeah. And then walked over and I stayed real still and then he goes, oh, just a cardboard box. And then he went away, and then I scuttled across the street. Yeah. Almost got hit by a UPS He'll truck. catch on to that if you do it three or four days in a row. Yeah. Probably, yeah, probably. Is that what our taxes are going to? Huh? Paying these inept policemen? Yeah. Yeah. Are we? Wait, are we? This is, this this is, is the, the show. show. This is it, This is, it, it. This is going on? It. So You're is this a new, it's like a news program. Yeah. Huh? Sort of. It's very serious. This is a very serious news Because you haven't done this with the papers. Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any papers. I feel How do you huge. modernize mechanics in a 2D, 8-bit, 16-bit space? Can I do a spit Oof. take after you do that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Please. Yeah, let's, let's take that again. Let's take that again and do the spit I take. I like to interview You're people ready. like Jiminy Glick. How do you modernize? You guys don't know Jiminy do it Glick? Again. Mm -hmm. We got to get this spit He was the tape. man with the fat. True. <laughs> yeah. It's prosthetics, right? Oh, wait. They're not ready. Are you going to do it, Teddy? Are you ready for the spit take? Oh, my God. Did you do it for real? 
Yeah. Are you both gonna do it? I'm just. Let's it's just it. gonna come out as a big puddle. All right. I can it's do just it. gonna spray yeah, all over your gonna equipment. Be happening. That's fine. Right. It's not ours. How do you modernize mechanics in a 2D 8-bit 16-bit space? <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I Honest spit all over answer. Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just <laughs> he's choking. He's choking. He's choking. I'll just laugh and walk. Do we have a doctor on set? <laughs> there's no, there's doctor. literally no one behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. Do we have a doctor cameraman. on set? Cameraman. Jan. Cameraman. What if Jan Pitsman burst into the room? Who came in? I locked the door. <laughs> Oh, no. So that no one could bother us. I'm glad we did so that. The <laughs> if the paramedics used to come good. in, they'd have to break down oh, the door. That was very fun. Wow. Thank you. Oh, that was rough. Keep going. But I mean, I seriously want to. Okay, so, so. This is a real question. Yeah, it's a real question. Because so, <laughs> part of the thing about <laughs> Hyperlight Drifter is that it's it, a question that killed Teddy. Oh. It is a game that harkens back to 18 oh bit, 16 bit RPGs. 18 bit. Oh, sorry. What did I say? 18, 18 bit. Oh, I meant 8 bit. That's a crazy amount of bits. I was trying to say, too many bits, I was trying to say 8 bit and 16 yeah, bit, yeah. and I got my wires crossed. Could you make 18 bits? No. Nope. I don't understand the bits. Uh, no, you don't can't. You we don't have time colors? to explain it to you right now. Is eight uh, bits just eight it's colors? not just color. It's about the process. <coughs> Listen, if you want to get real technical, Let's get real can. technical. I, I can't do it. I, I want to answer understand. her question. Answer her question. Yeah. She has a question. I respect question. her question. I get cut off. That's pretty standard. I respect That's what people do that she her. was first on the question. You answer her question, question and then I'll ask a follow-up question okay. about the bits. <coughs> Basically, I'm just curious in that how when you're trying to make this kind of classic game, what, do how do you question? modernize mechanics? <laughs> well, <laughs> you don't choke on water. <laughs> um, you fire I think you look at the crummy things, like the clunky stuff that was happening in games of yeah. yore, that you say, like, oh, wow, that doesn't actually work anymore. For example, <laughs> checkpointing is a thing yeah. that was really problematic back in the day. Or, you, you know, you had to enter passcodes in to actually load up your yeah. save file. We don't do that. Yeah. We were None playing. of that. But, uh, <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> but Actually, I'd like to hear Teddy's take on the question. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. I listen, thought, listen. <laughs> no, but seriously, I, uh, for example, like controls. Combat is super important to us in this game. And you look at old controls for older games. I think Teddy's still dying. No, let's keep going. Um, <laughs> like, that stuff was really clunky. Um, and, like, menus were very clunky. And you look at games today, and there's plenty of examples of good, modern, sleek design for that stuff. There's a certain mentality that you have to go into. The shoes are coming off. All right, shoes are coming off. Teddy, you answer the I question. You're going to need to check your mic and see if it's rubbing. It seems all right. Should I? There we go. I'm sorry. Just don't move around. <coughs> go for it. You've taken You've taken it. Taken the wind out of the sails. Did I? I mean, Alex well, has a great anchor. answer. No, Alex I like, no, go for I like it. hearing about it. It's OK. It. Keep going. Like, is there something specific that you guys did in the game that you were like, here's what we're going to do? Here's how we're going to modernize this 18-bit game. Teddy. <laughs> um, <laughs> fine. Um, oh, no, I mean, um, like, difficulty and fairness and friendliness are, like, something that we bounce all the time that Alex is getting at with checkpointing, right? That, like, um, yeah. the game is really hard, and that is, like, an aesthetic that we followed for a long time. But, like, being fair is something that changes a lot over time. Like, difficulty... Games were really hard back then, but really they were just more unfair. Like if you die, you had to start over. Yeah. yeah. Fucking pain in the. Wait, can <clears throat> I say that? Oh yeah. yeah say fuck, whatever you want. Fuck. Fucking pain in the ass games. <laughs> we played Battle Toads. We played several Battle Toads games <clears throat> last we night. We paid 150 dollars worth of Battle Toads games last night. <laughs> Almost what? a big mistake. <laughs> you, so you I didn't, didn't get know the that there were that many dollars worth of yeah. Battle Toads games in existence. You didn't get the rare replay collection. <laughs> no, we played. We played <laughs> Battle Toads. Yeah. Battle Toads, Battle Maniacs for the Super Nintendo. Yep. Battletoads Devil Dragon for the Nintendo. Yeah, they're all bad games, by and the way. And each one cost mm. $66? Back in the day, they, no, back in the day. They how, how do you do math? 50 bucks. $75? 50 bucks. 100. How do you get to 150 Ian, with three use times? Use your brain. I can't. He doesn't like doing math on camera. My God, it's 50. 50. dollars <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. So why didn't you guys just buy the Rare Replay Collection oh, and I have use, that, but use we, the Rewind? Oh, uh, no. So you have to play it in the way that it was intended to be played. That's how they modernized badly. it. <laughs> which is which is legally purchased in cartridge form and yes. played on an original console. Right. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like <laughs> fairness is like he's uh, nodded like <laughs> I I winked both of my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double wink. Yeah. It's more um, sincere. But it's, yeah, that's kind of the, that's the gist of the difficulty the? thing, right? So like when people die, we have to gauge like how far we want to send them back and what we want to take away from them because you need death to be meaningful and have an actual cost, but not be like a huge pain in the ass because. 
people these days have no patience for like doing a thing over again. That's just not fun anymore. Right. It probably never was, but eh. people people had more of an attention span and more yes. I feel like forgiveness in games back in the day because that's all you had. We knew nothing else. Yeah. But now that you have no attention at all, and yes. you have examples of games that actually flow a lot better than yeah. the clunky stuff back in the old well, days. Well, in modern games, when you have to do something over, it feels like you're learning something, you're like yeah. growing, whereas back in the day, it was like just at best memorizing where that bullshit thing was going to yeah. come out of the right side of the screen and Wrote kill you. memorization yeah. is never <coughs> Fun. Now I'm just watching Lara die yeah. a horrible death over and over again. How gruesome. Listening to that well, game from the other room sounds like someone is watching a porno. What game? Yeah. Lara Croft. Tomb Raider. Oh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. <coughs> the new Tomb Raider. <coughs> it's oh. constantly just, ah! Well, that is excessive gore. Yeah. Um, so yeah. wait, can you explain the bits, please? For you real? really want to know about the bits? Yeah, as briefly I as can't, possible. Uh, it's just the processor. Just a little bit. It's just the processors. That's really it. So you it's, couldn't it's have It's based entirely on, on, the C, on the CPUs and what they were doing with that. It's not, it doesn't have to do with like color bit depth or anything. There is, there is part of that um, with the hardware, but really when they were talking about like 32-bit architecture and all this stuff, they were talking about like the processors. And so it's like how many bits can go through it or something? Uh, it's, it became kind of arbitrary and meaningless at a certain point where they were like, I don't like know, all Atari things. Jaguar was like, fucking 128 bits, but yo! And it was 264 like, that doesn't, Yeah, interact, they kind of bolted right? together a couple of 32-bit processors and it was like, well, that doesn't really... So like the Wii. <laughs> oh, no! Dang! Oh, joke from eight years ago! <laughs> Two Xboxes bolted together. Well, well that's was, how Chappie sells I was the... waiting for a Wii burn. <clears throat> True. Uh, so Ian could theoretically build a processor that could make an 18-bit game. Is what you're telling me. Is what you're telling us, no, Alex. No, because it, it has to be d like by a factor of, of eight. Yeah, 18. Mm. It's in the word. No. You did so the math. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Yeah? <laughs> Is that a dumb and dumber question? That's some other okay. dumb question. <clears throat> she I goes through that. all the work and prepares these questions, and then I just shit all over it. I'm not doing so, any more spit takes. Go it, team! I just make everything bad you for her. You guys are a great team. We're a great Thank host and duo. Say. I gotta say. So That's what you need in a team. I find you probably find this working on a team, right? That you need one person who's taking things seriously, and then another person who just shits all over it and tries to ruin everything. I no, I think we always are idiots about stuff, so we just yell <coughs> about dumb things all the, the time. The thing I dislike is that huh. I feel like women often get pigeonholed into like the naggy, like, "Oh, you got it," while the man is like loose and having fun, and hey, the woman's mom. like, "Yeah, hey, yeah. mom." Well, I don't know what that means, but well, it's like you're you're the nagging mother. Yeah, I don't like being like the nagging tax task right. mistress. You're doing laundry to Ian's and fun mistress. It's sexism, Ian. Sexism. In more ways than one. Yeah. But yeah, I'm the fun mistress, but she's also the fun mistress. <coughs> so it's like it's weird. I don't know. As Cindy Lauper once said, "I want to be the one to walk in the sun, time after time." Yeah. Uh, are you guys? <laughs> Um, <laughs> whoa, okay, so I've got a question here. It's a little personal. Oh, boy. Ooh. You guys uh, kickstarted the game for how much money? 647000 How dare you? Is that <laughs> how dare you? How dare you ask a matter of public record? <laughs> that is that information was not public. Is that money gone? So yeah, we spent it on uh, porn stars and sushi. <laughs> Mix, I'm At the it same up. time. Yeah. I only ask because frictional games. Frictional games? They Frictional make, Games, they make video games right? just uh, released the figures on Soma. Yeah. Have you guys played Soma yet? Not yet. No, it's scary. I won't play I'm it. I'm halfway oh. through it. Yes, no, horror guys? It's pretty stressful. How much? What did they, what did they say? They sold 92,000 copies, right? Mm -hmm. Across PC and PS4. It's, it's bolted They on. say they have enough money now to sustain their business operations for two years. Yeah, sounds right. So, yeah, so is that kind of like the, the estimate that you guys were going by? Like, you're no. a seven-person team. No, the, uh, the estimate team, I was going, I made the estimate way early on of like $27,000. That'll help me live off of spaghetti and then two people can work on this part time. The $645,000 is actually not a lot of money to make a video game with at all. Um, but we've made it work and we still have some in the bank and we do that by not paying ourselves a whole lot of money. Um, and by the fact that you know, we're not making a big 3D game either, but we're still making a big game. And we still have like seven, seven people on the team, and you know, 
it's games are expensive. That's games a, are very expensive. That's what al is what always blows my mind of how little these Kickstarters are actually asking for right. the indie ones, and I'm like, yeah, well, it's like, usually oh, it's, it's like a handful. Money. It's usually <clears throat> not enough money. Yeah, and a lot of Kickstarters, companies that know the budget that they need. And the budget mostly goes towards people, towards personnel. Like you have to pay the people, and you have to pay them a living wage. Um, and sometimes you have to. Thanks, Obama. Yeah, it's all Obama's fault, is what I'm saying. Like Kickstarter is burning up in flames because of Obama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but games are very expensive, and oftentimes they'll ask for a, some. They ask for money that they think they can get, hoping that they'll shoot over that to the budget that they actually need which is kind of a bad practice. And in our case, it was like, this was a, a tinier game back when we asked for that amount of money. So yeah. the 645 it, figure is like, oh, it allows us to do something different now. We budgeted around that. It's interesting when you think about this, because the way that games used to be funded and still are sometimes is by like publishers and you know financial people who have money. And money some people. games would break even and be financially successful, and some wouldn't. But they'd still be like critically acclaimed, or they'd still be valuable. But as more and more games need to be funded through Kickstarter, the games that would not be financially successful just don't get made at all. Right. Yeah. Because you right. have to basically be financially successful. You have to sell to enough copies it. to fund yeah. the game before you start the game. So yeah. but that makes me sad, kind of. Like, yeah. not that, I mean, I think that a, a well-made game can find its market, you know, especially with like indie games and consumers being pretty good at like finding what they like, you know? But it's kind of sad to think that like, only financially successful games will be, can be made at all. Yeah, and you've, the model has, I mean, the financial <coughs> models have changed so much that you've seen the disappearance of that, like, mid-range studio, like the B-tier stuff. Um, it's not, not the quality-wise, but just, like, by virtue of the size of the studio, like, it's a 12-man studio or a 20-man studio or something like Double Fine is, fits yeah. into that kind of pocket, but you don't have many of those these days because Games are either like exorbitantly priced because it costs hundreds of millions of dollars to make a Destiny or anything that's commercially viable on a large scale, or you have shit, stuff like us where it's like, here's some money, here's a tiny pocket of money, which seems like a lot, but actually that's not really a lot for two years of development, and let's hope you do well with that. We were just, uh, we took Lisa Brown out to lunch, who's on our team, she's a level designer who used to be an insomniac, but we took her! Um, <laughs> <laughs> and out to lunch! <laughs> out, out to lunch! Yeah! <laughs> um, we took a lunch and we were all like wow. hanging out and celebrating and then we started getting into this conversation of like oh, the financial yeah. markets of games and we just got it was all just like sad. It is fucking just bummed. Are yeah, we bringing you down right now? I'm sorry. We ended, no, we were, no, that lunch <laughs> ended up being really sad afterwards because we were just like, oh, we, yeah, we talked about like the viability of games and how hard it is to actually make them and how like all these yeah. models have changed and how a lot of developers are moving out and moving to other things. It's like. The shifting in the industry in a lot of different ways is like it can be very depressing. But it's like at the end of the day, it's just hard because it's a business and you have to think yeah. like that. Yeah. And like kind of going back to your question, like the money that we have is almost out, and that's like one of the reasons why we want to finish the game. We're also like it's come it's come around to time out nicely, but like in a sense, like instead of a publisher, we have a bank account. Right. right. And the publisher says you have to finish the game right now, and the bank account says like. The bank you're, account. You're out of money on this. If you don't finish this, ba if you the bank account actually, is yelling at us yeah. and saying, "You probably got to finish by the spring, or else we'll fuck." You never do? call anymore. Is that what it sounds like? Yeah. Yeah, that's the bank. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's like we don't understand your in incoherent bubbling talk. Hold this. the receiver closer to your phone, Bank yeah. of America. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys went out for this lunch, and then you didn't pay for it because you. Yeah, we, we, skipped skipped out. Money. we skipped can't. out. Yeah. Um, we skipped out on all of our Did you guys lunches. hear that skipped Star out. Citizen is like out of money? Yeah. As of what? Like today. But, but Wait, really? Never, I, I, saw, I just read Wait. the headline. I was busy, but like... I thought they had like there, billions there in the bank. There is a big yeah. thing going on like right now done. between Star Citizen and Every, somebody, but... Derek Smart. Maybe. Versus Larry Flynn. It's probably Taylor Swift. She gets in... No, like Derek Smart has been like their uh, asshole in the wing for a while now. and I think he? Well, what? If I say Derek Smart one more time, he's gonna come up on the feed. <laughs> no, seriously, he's like the internet boogeyman. Like Beetlejuice. He was, he's a guy, he's a developer that's been around for, I don't know, a couple <clears> decades <throat> now. And um, he's made, like, Star, I forget what his games were. They're all always about Star Destroyers. Star Destroyers and Star like, Exploration. Uh, and stuff. Privateer and that I, stuff. I don't know, but he's a guy on the internet that's been very vocal. Um, against Lancer, Star Citizen. And, and against all sorts of games and just in general. He's been one of those forces and kind of like Jonathan Blow would come out whenever you'd start to talk about stuff and John Blow would come in and be like, hey, blah, 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 and chime in. Like Derek Smart was that guy before that would just like chime in all the time, except he was kind of a jerk about this stuff. 
and he's been he's been harsh on uh, he's been riding their ass and maybe for good reason I don't know can uh, someone catch me up to Star speed on like Star I know Citizen. so what I know about Star Citizen is that it was like kickstarted and it's a spaceship game and they've continued to like sell all sorts of shit yeah for like modules forever kickstarting. And, yeah and indefinitely spaceships. kickstarted like buy a ship well they took it off of kickstarter and they, they they have like their own yeah. donation platform now but is, so the, is the game Shenmue not out platform. and is, the, is what is out. what is the news item that we're discussing they're right apparently now. out of money but they didn't stop kickstarting, right? They didn't. Start I don't know. They were I guess so people. No, the kickstarter. Just so the like kickstarter ended, and then right. it's just like, hey, give us. It's their own. Like, like just give us money. Like Shenmue backer. Three did yeah. their slack. They're just backer. raising money now. Shenmue Three was like, our kickstarter's over, but if you still want to give money Ooh. to us, oh. here Ooh. you go. Ooh. What was the context for them being out of money? Like they announced it because they need more. Or? Like two hours ago, I just saw a headline really? that was like, they're out of money, and the employees are all pissed. Oh. Shit. On the Polygon article, like uh, during PAX, am I okay? Yeah, um, he was basically saying like, yeah, we'll be prepared for money going away, and we'll tell people and all that stuff. And it seems like that didn't happen. Yeah, Oof. they just are gone. They're just out of it now. So what are I they gonna know. do? I don't know. I didn't read the article. I just thought I'd bring it up. Ian, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll just not play they'll, that game. They'll they'll fire a bunch of people. They'll find an investor to invest in finishing the game, and they'll promise to finish the game in a certain amount of time. Then they'll finish the game and try to make that money back. Right. Way to go, reality police. How do you guys so feel? You sound like answer. my bitch. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about Cyan Worlds? You sound like worlds? my mom. I hope you Cyan sound like John Pizzaman. Yeah, John yeah. Pizzaman. John Pizzaman. No, John Pizzaman did not sound like that. No, he was just like, here's your pizza. Oh, you should call it Hyperlight Drift. Yeah, I man. thought about it on the drive over. <laughs> also, you owe me twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. But I got these breadsticks from another order. They didn't want them, so you can have them for free. I threw them in for free. Threw them in for free. I'm John Look, look how great I am. Hey. Also, here's a flower. Here's a rose yeah. for you. I love you. Yeah. yeah. You should also a call, beautiful story. You should call your game Sweet Coden. Ooh. Is that already taken? Did you ever finish those? I beat one and two, Gosh. and probably three, and I didn't play four or tactics they were or bad. five. All they were, those were bad. One and two are great. No, one and two are great. Oh, I was going to say, I'm going to like master class yeah, RPGs. I'm going to like spaz on you right now. But the rest of those them are sprites? like, go to oh sleep, God. please. Go to sleep. Oh, my word. My stars and Whoa, what was the question? How do you guys feel about yeah, what are we doing? kickstarting a game and then having a publisher come in and then kind of assist with funding? That's fine. Because guess what? Games are expensive and risky. And if you find a good publisher that will work with you and that can support you, fucking great. More power to you. If you find a publisher that wants to fuck you over and makes everything worse, then well, that sucks. And it's probably not great for the backers who supported you. But yeah, Kickstarter is very much like a meritocracy, right? Like even the um, when Double Fine did like the second, oh, they, did they do a second Kickstarter? I'm getting confused. They but did like, a couple. Yeah, yeah like mm -hmm. um, there's no contract in the Kickstarter other than the agreement, generally speaking, that like these people are pre-ordering copies and that you give them what they pre-order, which is you're going to finish the game that you promised to make and they're going to get whatever awards they backed for. Right. So if you need to go to a publisher or choose to go to a publisher for more money because you want to make the game bigger or you want better marketing, like. Or because you didn't They're budget the way that you thought you needed to budget, <coughs> or because problems happen during the during the production of a game, which often yeah. will. So yeah, as long as you get it done, however you get it done, and they get what they supported, that's awesome. Yeah, and that's been our backers' general mindset. Has been like, I mean, you know, we don't have a publisher, and we haven't done anything like that, but they've been super supportive whenever Alex posts an update, even when there's been tougher stuff, like when um, when we've said in the past, like well, games canceled. <laughs> yeah, when we canceled the game. Hey guys, guess what? We canceled, canceled the game. The game. That was and we rough. took all your money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, Here's us in Cabo. <laughs> they've, been, they've been very trusting, and I think that's yeah. the type of environment that the good Kickstarters try to propagate after they have success. Is like, let's keep this a positive environment, because as soon as a, an environment on the internet goes south, it's south forever, probably. But then you, you guys have had support, not financially, right, but <clears throat> from like Sony. Because they're big about getting you mm. guys on the PlayStation and stuff like yeah. that, right? But I mean, is that relationship just like, hey, we'll put your game on? That's a thing. good relationship between a platform, yeah. Right. And that happens with Microsoft too. It's like yeah. it's about if they want your game to be successful, which they do because it's in their interest and it's right. in our best interest as well. It's like the parties work together well, and like you there's no real, there's game. no money exchange there. It's just like if you're going to be on our platform, obviously we want to make money too, so <laughs> let's promote it. But I, I don't know. There's something. Like on the subject of the Kickstarter stuff um, and toxicity of that environment, also, and like failed Kickstarters and things running out of money, and Star Citizen being like a huge example of. I, I don't know the news, so I don't know what the hell happened <laughs> exactly. <are. laughs> I'm just the first I'm hearing of it. 
But there's plenty of examples of Kickstarters gone wrong, and so that's going to well, it's it's going to happen. Um, and there's also plenty of examples on the other end of the spectrum of things going really well. And a great example is Shovel Knight, where it's like they got funded, they got overfunded, they delivered on the game that they wanted to deliver on in a reasonable time frame, and people fucking love that game because it's a great fucking game, and those dudes are great. Um, and there's an amiibo. <clears throat> and there's an amiibo. That's you know, it's awesome. Like it's a great success story for that model. But there's also stories of that you see all the time of like, well, um, there was that big tactics RPG that raised like six hundred thousand also. Banner Saga. Um, no, not Banner Saga. Banner Saga is another Banner great Saga success great story. Yeah. Yeah. They they did it. They raised more than they asked for, and they were awesome. And they're Are great. Are they kickstarting for two as well, or did they, they just, uh, they're just doing two? I don't two. know if they're kickstarting two. Yeah, I, I know, know Divinity two. Divinity two has a publisher, uh -huh. right? But they're, they're also kickstarting, kickstarting for two. Yeah. To like add other stuff to. And it. they're they're oh, people yeah? that know what they're yeah, doing also. Cool. Yeah. Like they've proven that model, and I like good for them. Um, but there's that other one that raised around the amount that we did, and like it. Recently, they're like, oh, we changed everything. Or we didn't change everything, but we're delaying it e extensively. It was that, like, tactics one. Um, not red one? No. Not the one with the anime title. A lot of people well. were upset about yeah. it. And I don't know this particular is beyond just, like, they I mean, started... Mighty Number no. 9 just got delayed. Yeah, Mighty Number no. 9. Uh, the, the, no, no, it's something tactics. But uh, anyway, the, my point was that um, people were very upset about it because they weren't upfront about certain factors in it. It's like they weren't delivering on certain things, and it's, it's, a, it's an environment where things can go wrong or things can change, and like, they're promises. They're not, they're not things that are necessarily, uh, le they're not legally bound to, to make all of these goals that they had set themselves up to, and that creates a bad environment and a bad impression for this, like, honestly, very new platform. So I, it, thing, bad things can happen, but good things can happen also, and I hope more good things happen, and I hope it's one of those good things. Yeah, also, this is another piece of news that I don't know if it got picked up, and I'm going to quote it horribly, but that a couple weeks ago, Kickstarter reincorporated yeah. as like a not, a, a, it was like as a charitable organization or something, oh. like they doubled down on their wanting to just support the arts. It wasn't charitable, because oh, really? um, they're you still for profit. Okay. Um, it's uh, it starts with a B, but I forget it now. Uh, Do but you it, recall like what it what it means? Fishy. Basically, it means that you're not beholden to stockholders. Um, mm -hmm. You're not beholden to profit overall. You actually have to ha be cognizant of your impact on society as well, um, as your bottom line. So it's so does that it's a new type of business entity. Oh. That's socially conscious business. Yeah, it's socially conscious, so is and that it's something that's been happening more. More it's, scrupulous standards or less? I'm sure that it has to do. I'm sure it benefits them legally and financially yeah. when it comes to um, the weirdness of the, like the newness of this platform because it is also a new form of business entity that right, they're yeah. incorporating as. But to me, it, it read less as like there are new interesting constraints and more as just an indication of their mindset and like mm. where right. they're going. It's like mm. okay, that's that's philosophical. They, right. Sure. Yeah. It's Did a philosophy, and it's also like we want to benefit the arts, and that's what we're all about. But we also want to make a profit, so this is why we're. <laughs> Turning to this type of That's business, cool. it's like Humble Bundle's doing a subscription model now too. Oh yeah, yeah I got an email with that yeah. today. It's like the, the, the sign turners that stand on corners, and you're like, why would a business have someone spinning a sign on their corner? Does that really drive extra business? That business is probably getting a tax break, mm. having that extra employee doing that. We talk Maybe. about this a lot. Yeah. This probably is see it a lot in Los Angeles. Too, yeah. We yeah. talk about sign spinners. It's weird too Way because too much. any business with a sign spinner, I'm like, okay, mental note, never, never go, go there. there. Especially never. when it's like, I'm a ta like, I'll do your taxes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I will never yeah. do my taxes. Don't trust thing. that yeah. guy. It's it's 105 degrees out, and they yeah. have someone standing on a corner. This person's going to um, die, like, and they're dancing like a crazy person. The worst. And I'm never going to buy your mattress. There was there was a there was one for a sushi company, and there was like a, a guy in a panda suit yes. also spinning a sign. It's like I would never eat at that sushi horrible. place. There used to be suited I saw that guy. Corner. Yeah, on our corner. Yeah, at Palms. And yeah, driving by. That's Palms. the one. It's yeah, Palms and Sotel. Yeah, it's Palms and Sepulveda. Palms and Sepulveda. And, and it's like, like and it's called like it's called like bad sushi or yeah. something. They had like, like a light shining on them too. It literally so looked like something out of like Five Nights at like Freddy's. Who the fuck? Who? I almost crashed my car. What marketing <laughs> genius did this shit? Yeah, Nathan for you. I love Nathan for you. That's pretty good. Choice. Um, there's a game getting kickstarted right now called Home Free. Everybody's talking about it. I feel like, and it's about a dog that gets lost in the city, randomly gen generated environments, and you have to help this dog survive and get him home. 
I'm with the people at home. Hey, all my people who don't have painted nails, where you at? Do this on the <laughs> screen now, where they at? And if you have painted nails, you can do it with the rest. How far can I go with this? Can anyway, I do I'm this with these people? I'm excited this game. I'll probably play it. It's about a dog? Yeah, it's about a dog. Wait, what is it called? Cool. Home Free. Home Free. Um, okay, it's a Kickstarter? It is being Kickstarted yeah. right now. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Teddy. Okay. They're probably going to make their funding. Good for them. Home Just free. a bit. I, maybe I got like super muddled in like politics or like the, the economies of whatever in Kickstarter, but like... I'm super happy that Kickstarter exists. Me too. Like yeah. fucking awesome projects are being made on that, and there's there's gonna be shitty people that make shitty projects, or people that just don't know what they're doing, or people that just don't know how to scope. But there's also like amazing projects that would never have happened otherwise that you see, and it's like that's fucking cool. That's cool that that one person got to do that, or that small group of people that would never have seen the light of day have a creative opportunity to do this stuff. Yeah, it's a good good for discoverability too. Like I yeah. found a lot of games. It's great. Kickstarter. It's super great. And Double Fine has their like fig yeah. crowdfunding now. Do you think if you guys were doing another game you would go to Kickstarter? Would you maybe sort of see what other it options there are? I I can't say for sure, but I yeah. will I don't crowdfunding for the next game seems like I don't really want to do that just because it's almost like a yoke around your your head because I kind of want to just go into development and not talk for like two years after having been so engaged, which is great in its own way. I'm like, I'm tired at this point. And it's like, I'm, yeah. I'm ready to do the opposite for the next game and just be like, cool, heads down. Now I'm going to present this to you when it's basically done. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of people, because you're engaging so much with your audience while you're developing a game, a lot of people think it's come out. That too. You know, they we, or the game's been that. in early access. Like, that's what the prison architect guys that were here before you, I know they're kind of like, Rivals. Yeah, huge, sure. huge yeah. rivals. Huge rivals. Huge um, rivals. Yeah, we fight all the time uh -huh. on the internet. Yeah, I, I, the indie community is really vicious, vicious. I see it on Twitter a lot. Yeah. But yeah, Prison yeah. Architect was one of those ones like, where it's like, oh, that game's coming out. I thought it was out for three years. Well, we, I, we I were, played it a million, like, yeah, like a couple years been ago out for three on years. early access. We yeah. were doing the Steam. We did a Steam preview like last October, which was like a. Which I could still play the other day. Damn it! It's okay, it's all right. It's, you know. <laughs> He's like my my plan. I played it again like two days. ago. It was only Shush. available for a month. Uh, now no one should play it anymore. Shut your lips. <laughs> but but um, they asked I mean, like never our. Never mind. Mm, uh, we Alex tried to take it down. I wish I died on that water. <laughs> What water? Teddy. Did you hit some dark water? No, no when he oh, choked on oh, the spit water. tank. When you forced him to spit tank. Oh, well, I mean, to me, Teddy is a yachtsman. Teddy is a yachtsman. I thought he's a boatsman. You're a maritime law lawyer, aren't you? Well, Teddy is yeah, a rich maritime white law? man. Yeah, I can marry people and execute people on the water, on yeah. the sea, international well, Listen, Teddy Captain. totally failed when we tried to take the, <laughs> that build down. Wow. Okay. No, I'm, I'm what sorry. happened? No, um, I, I don't actually. No, I think some, No, I think some people can still play for some reason. And other people can't. Yeah. No, I have no, no I, idea. I'm one of the that. golden. Teddy, you did perfectly fine. I just wanted to be really mean. For this uh, um, I was gonna tell all these secrets. Teddy no, totally um, failed. Steam. Steam wanted us, or they asked, like, do you want to put a page up? Like, do you want to promote it? Like, we could like get more people to buy into the preview for like a Steam sale. You could do something like that. And we were like, we do not want a Steam page. We do not want to be searchable on Steam, even though we're doing this thing for all, like all the backers yet. got a copy, because yeah, well not yet, uh, because people will think the game's out. Yeah, right. right. And we still have people thinking like, oh, I forgot about this. It's when? Why do I? Why don't I have my code? I'm yeah. Like, dude, the fucking game didn't come out, dog. And they're <laughs> like, well, huh. I'm like, yeah. And Alex really like, does love the, uh, the backers, though. No, I, I, I'm listen. Yeah. I engage. <laughs> I answer a lot of emails and a lot of and a lot of messages, and I'm I'm always I try and be very pleasant about that stuff because, no matter how frustrated I am in like my general life about whatever situations are going on or like however much pressure I'm under, I fucking love that we have a community and fans and people that supported us and gave us this opportunity. So I'm I try and be as cordial as possible, and because they gave us something, so I'm yeah. trying to give yeah. them something. Here's an ironic question, though. Uh huh. How much sooner do you think the game would come out? If you didn't have to kowtow to these bastards, like the next day, as yeah. soon as we were done with the Kickstarter, it would have been out. Yeah, uh, yeah, like they really. Yeah. Uh, too busy on forums and yeah, too busy answering emails. To no, I this game. damn I set, people. You know I what set we aside, say. I set aside like a day a week to do that stuff rather than try and do Which it constantly. Day? Don't Thursday, Slurbs Day. Yeah, pretty much. Thursdays, Thursdays are like my my like email and business businessy days. Thursdays are like my businessman days. The abortion of days. Well, here we go again great. with wow. Thursday's great job, abortion Ian. of days. Next, you're gonna thing. do like a, a really you even lower level joke. 
I was uh, like I, about sports. Yeah, I got stern with someone on Kickstarter that one time. That was good. What'd you like he was not being very. Yeah, usually nice. we have like like by and large ninety nine percent of our interactions with backers are really positive. But sometimes we get messages that are like, "How dare you not release the game? <laughs> I where's the fucking livid. game? Like I expect to be compensated for the time that I've waited." Right. <laughs> and and so <laughs> that makes no sense. Yeah, and right. so like no, I mean I wrote him. I, I like we we wrote yeah, this one together because yeah. it. But we wrote one that was like, look, no, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> like you will get the game and that will be compensation enough. Like this is how this works. Like thank you for backing it. Like it's not a pre-order system. Yeah, that was the big point. Like Kickstarter, I think I, people are starting to realize is not a pre-order system. Like there's a promise there that the game will come out. Sometimes it won't, but it's also, it's not like it'll come out by this time exactly and great. And if it doesn't sue us, it's like, no, you're, you're putting your faith. You're donating to the cause, right. to a campaign, and you're putting your faith in us to deliver a, a product. And we're going to do the best we can. And you have to ride, you're riding it out with us. You know, it's not, it's not a for sure thing on any level, you know, whether it's the time frames or whether, whether it's like we're delivering on every single component or it's living up to every crazy expectation you might have because some people, you know, have a fantasy about this particular game or that particular game, and it doesn't meet those expectations, and they're mad about it. It's like, well, you know, every th things happen in development, and you can't, you can't, you have to be more flexible about that stuff when you're when you're putting your faith into somebody. Personally, I'm in the camp of the hype train is tiring. When Bethesda came out and announced Fallout 4, it was amazing because mm -hmm. of the realization that this game comes out five months from now, and we get burnt out on that. I mean, maybe we work in mm. games daily. Yeah. Um, so if you guys just disappeared and made a game and then said, hey, here's our game, that would be beautiful. That yeah. Would be I love That's it. what I, I want to do the yeah. next yeah. time around. I like. love it when people, like the greatest thing that ever happened was PT. PT. When that shit just happened. Locked. And then, and then like three hours later, we were like, wait, what? Silent Hills? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I'm just as fatigued about that stuff too. And I thought Bethesda handled it beautifully where yeah. everybody speculated about that stuff for years. And... Even now, I'm still like, they're handling it great because they came out at E3, they did their presentation, they released a shitload of information and video and whatever else, and then they haven't said anything since, really. Yeah. It's like, psh, we're coming out soon, we don't really need yeah, to do anything to. else. You'll see it in five months, just fucking hold on because there's tons of other games out. Don't worry about yeah, it, Yeah, that's, that's the main thing is there's more games, which is awesome, yeah. right? And yeah. so like, that means there's less attention to go around and the, like, the, the press and journalists like, don't have to cover the same f 10 games over and over and over and over. Yeah. And they kind of do, right? Like, st they're still like, oh, the latest... Destiny. Uh, Desti I was going to say Destiny, Destiny, but I was looking for a uh, less easy target. Um, Destiny. What's weird is, like, Forbes writes an article about Destiny, like, every day. And I'm like, <laughs> you're Forbes. I know Paul Tassi is one of their writers, and I think he's a Destiny fan. Uh, I does, think it depends uh, on the writing staff. Yeah. Is there a particular, yeah. like, yeah. Well, somebody on Kotaku like, writes about Destiny games, on, oh, the, yeah. like, a semi-daily basis you or whatever? You guys do Bloodborne Dark Souls stuff mm -hmm. constantly in Persona now. Well, I think about it all the time. Yeah, but, like, Bloodborne is, like, a really good Yeah, that's game. different. That's that's not you, like, <laughs> reacting to their, <laughs> their PR You don't department. like Bloodborne? That's I'm not that's that you good like. Good at video games. Oh, <laughs> so you won't like our game. I never. No, I'm super pumped for Hyperlight Drifter. Okay. I never killed a boss in Bloodborne, but I'm good at our game. Um, but you chose the cane to start, and you never. Dude, no, I switched. But it's a hard thing. You could go thing Chang, yeah, and then it's a true. whip. Um, Hyperlight Drifter Mercy. to me is like a Link to the Past, Secret of Mana kind of game. Like it's, it's right up my alley. It's more. It's more in that frame for sure. I'm super pumped. But hard. But it's still hard. But it's it's easier than maybe Bloodborne or Souls. Yeah, I, I put out some questions, or I put out the question to Twitter, and I said that you guys were coming on to do the show. Oh, really? And asked, yeah, and asked if people had, had questions yeah. to ask you. Trap. That's cool. And so I got some. You guys are my activity in a man up's nights, guys. This is unheard of. This um, is weird. This is asynchronous from, interactivity. Yes. This is from <laughs> at Abe Toe. I like that name. Abe Toe. Excuse me. Are you tired? Um, do you need to take a nap? I'm a little tired. Actually, uh, do you guys mind? No, let's, yeah, let's we'll be right back, everybody. Let's, let's all have a rest. Yeah. <laughs> rest. How do you modernize Holy mechanics shit. in a 2D 8-bit? <laughs> Excuse me? They asked that too? Bit tape. Abe Toes? <laughs> 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 Dies. Un unbelievable. Abe Abe Toe wants Next, to you're gonna ask me about how much money we made. <laughs> I'm gonna flip my shit. How much are you worth personally? Five dollars. 
Alex is priceless. What's that like? It's that's so it's much. It's How many carboni bucks are you worth? We're gonna hear every second of that. Carbox. Carboni bucks. Wait, what did you say? Don't talk. Huh? Don't no. touch your mic. Don't I hear it every time. It. Okay. I mean, I don't hear it. The viewer hears it. Sorry, I was listening. Well, if Abe could get his fucking question. What's answer. Abe Toe's yeah, question? Toe. Whatever, what's Abe. Up, you're not gonna Abe get in this. I want to hear it. He wants to know what's your favorite weapon for an action adventure game. Cool, huh? Action adventure game? Like an action game? Like a game. What's your favorite weapon in a game? Bow and arrow, hands down, bow and arrow. Oh, boy. All day, bow and arrow. Oh, boy. Oh, right now. What's a game with a good bow and arrow, though? Boy. Uh, I liked the. I actually liked the Tomb Raider bow and arrow a I like lot. It a lot. Um, I kind of liked the Skyrim bow and arrow. Like, I was pretty, pretty yeah. much in that game. Huh. I kind of liked the f uh, Fable. Yeah. They had, like, the slow mo the skill you could unlock. Or just. <laughs> 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 what if, any, that, if that anyone, happened in real life, you'd be like, "What is happening?" I will. I will say that <laughs> ba Bayonetta's uh, heel pistols are pretty silly and great. Does she shoot herself with them? No, she fucking straps oh, her. Heel yeah. pistols, her, not yeah, she straps pistols. them. No, yeah. Yeah. I heard heel pistols. Her high also. heel I knew pistols. It. Mm. They're pretty. She they knew it. Oh wait, because I played the that. Same word. They're pretty cool. I like any dual it's, wielding. That game is way weapon. over the top and super dumb and great. Yeah. Um, we were talking yesterday about how there's like no good shotgun in a game. Nah, Whoa. not but true. I, well, I was saying that what? I like the shotgun in Tomb Raider. I'm that? loving it right now. Shotguns are my good. favorite guns in games. Mass Effect 3 is a great shotgun. I'll tell you a secret about Hyperlight. The shotgun is my favorite. There's some shotguns in that game. I like game. how the bullets bounce off. There's, the well, there's I like feeling powerful. Shotguns and shotguns right. make me feel powerful. Shotguns are real From close range. Uh, I like precision guns. Like your scout rifles, sniper rifles. Shotguns are precision from a close. From <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's precision, true. precision super murder. Precision is hell. I want the you to die here. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> I want you to die here. Yeah. The best shotgun in any game, or one of the best, was the one in Moha, Medal of Honor, Alley Assault. Yeah. The PC. That thing fucking Dude, wrecked shit. That game was awesome. Yeah. I it loved the those, precursor the, like, to the middle, modern modern the middle stuff. two or three Medal of Honor games. Yeah. Like or the early middle. Well, like because it, it was the Infinity War one. dudes that were yeah. making that. And that that was like good. the pinnacle. Would they have play, defeat. Would you be into a game Dude. like that now? What? Like a Medal of Honor game. I, think I don't know. I think I'm past it. I don't know. I think it's time for World War Two. When are we gonna get some World War Two games? Yeah. We're gonna get. Yeah. There haven't been enough. They're coming. I bet you. Oh. It's it's gonna say it's cyclical. I heard a rumor that one of the Call of Duties might go back. I might. This is from you Constantinos. I'm Constantinos. Yeah. What's your favorite dog? My dog, Tetris. She's a good dog. Tetris? You call her like Teddy for short? No, Trish? I call her Tetris. Like Tet no, Tetris. 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 Teddy? Tetris. No. Tetty. In a game or just in real life? Uh, or? In the best, I mean, I think what's I your like favorite dog? That's my answer. Specifically, yeah. Bender would be mine. Teddy, not a dog person? I have a thing where I'm not like a. Teddy I'm, hates I'm things. troubled. I, I'm not. I don't have any pets, and I like. I like pets, and pets like me because they know I don't really care that much. Like we're both just kind of cool. You're like, both aloof. You're both yeah. Yeah, I don't really get like all ah, about animals. So I have a lot of friends that send me a lot of animated gifts of animals to try to break to melt my heart. Um, I saw a puppy falling over. It was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Did it fall off of a building? It was, trying to, it was trying to crawl up a table, mm -hmm. and then its butt fell down, and then it fell over, but its head like was on the leg of the table. So it had like a moment where it was like sitting like a person, but then it flopped backwards onto the ground. It was like a four-stage fall. It was pretty Oh, fun. man, if you like dogs, hey, I'm going to plug a game uh, that I don't know the title of. There's a game being kickstarted right now. I think it's called Dog Park. Um, it's oh. like... Like butt sniffing butt pugs? Butt sniffing no, pugs? not butt sniffing pugs. No, just yeah. it just started like two days ago. Home free? No. Home is free. It's, it's like dog. It's it, it used to be called Dog Park. I think it might be called that. But it's like um, it was originally commissioned by the No Quarter exhibit at mm. NYU, and it's like a really interesting game about being a dog in the big city. Aww. Like Tokyo sounds Jungle. Enchanting. Uh, like to yeah, like Tokyo Jungle. <laughs> Tokyo Jungle is a fucking rad. Yeah. Game. The game is hilarious. I just want to know that you, we we devolved into describing gifts on the internet I'm on the show. On this show? You you did that. Yeah. You did that. That's true. That's bad. I described a You're gift. You're a bad host. I never claimed to be a I'm, good I'm host. Okay. Yeah, our <laughs> usual episode is kind of like an SNL weekend update sort of thing. Uh, yeah. And last mm. week I wrote a joke about Netflix and chilling. Yeah. Like but none that's of us how, knew what it meant. That's how far I had to good. explain to them. Because I, I read the joke. Yeah. And I she, thought. Every time before she read it, she goes, this is my best joke. And then she read it and it was like fucking crickets. I was like, what? I don't even understand. Hey, it's called Home Free. 
Home free. Is that the, that's the same it's game? <laughs> Uh, That's awesome. This is the story this is of real Elise's dumb. life. Give me this that water. Is real dumb. Give me that water. <laughs> Homefree is such a cool game. I've been talking. So, yeah, Kevin can't see like, the designers have been working on this forever. It's so good. Mm. Not forever, for a year or two. Are you going to spit take? <laughs> I'm really <laughs> that excited about this game. Awkward that was a bad spit take. take. I don't know how to spit take. You got to miss it. Use your you lips. missed it. Use your lips. <sighs> it ends with you almost <sighs> dying, dead. so don't do it. 50-50 so chance. Dog, and then dog you park. have to choke for like you know, an hour. You know, Dog Park, that one that Teddy's dog been talking park. about. That you have park. no idea what it is. Milo and Otis. Dog Park. Home free. Home free. Teddy, you on have, Kickstarter you have now. Uh, on sounds shops. like a good game. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably some kind of woman that no one would listen to. Would Sorry, drink water. Uh, I'll get you a new water. That's poison now. Um, this is a question I chose specifically for Ian. Full of cholera. Oh, from from uh, Chris Enjoy. Franco Pressa. Chris Franco Pressa? I'll answer Thoughts it. on Undertale, if any. Oh, well, yeah. I'm only an hour into it. I have not played it yet. Dying to play it. It's great, though. I love the first hour. Yeah. It Undertale. seems like one of those games that's very, like, uh, there's a lot of stuff and love in it. It's, like, a lot of just piece by piece. Like, there's a lot of whimsy and surprise in it because there's nothing, there's not a lot of repetition. Like, it's presented as, like, uh, it's, like, presented as kind of an RPG, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's, like, totally not. And it's there's a lot of yeah, like one-off. You can, you can just unique. talk all the monsters away. Yeah. yeah. I watched I watched a very short video about trying to make a ghost happy, and I said that sounds great. Yeah. I'm gonna play that. It's a point. really cool. I like it a lot. Um, that was a question for you. Thanks, Elise. No problem. Don't thank me. Thanks, Chris Franco. Got? Pressa. Thanks, Chris Franco. Thanks, James Pressa. Franco. Yeah, James uh, Franco. From Mike Mike Hook, he says. Hook. Wh- yeah. Mike Hook. He's a regular. Hook. Hook. Hey, Mike. Hook. Hook. Mike. Hook. 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 What game? What? What game are you guys dying to play right now? Right this second? Probably Dog Park. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. It used to be called Dog Park. <laughs> Maybe I'm on. Dog Park. <laughs> Burnt him. Burnt him. Burnt him Teddy up. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just Grumpy Owl and Fuck Up Ed over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, your real right. name's Ed. Destiny? No. Really? I, I enjoy Destiny. I enjoy too. Destiny, oh, too. It's fine. I mean, it's, a, not, it's like... Right now I'm real bummed out though because I'm on a real grindy quest. Oh my god! I am a very, very excited, and more excited than anything else to play Street Fighter Five. And um, I play. That's pretty much the only thing I played at PAX. It has Zangief now. Like we didn't see that coming. Big news. Yeah. God, I hate that they do that. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Surprise. You hate that they put great characters Chun-Li. in a great game? Is that what you're saying? Don't oh. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this table. Give me that water. Don't announce them with an exclamation point. Your water's getting the business today. That water is full of cholera and hepatitis. She does have hepatitis. Uh, you're welcome. C, though, so it's curable. <laughs> we all have it. Yeah. Um, it's like Walking Dead. Spoiler alert, question. they all Wait, have I it. only answered that question. What is your answer and your I answer? I want to play the Bloodborne DLC right now. Do you? Yes. I'm oh, wait, so we can play a game that's not out? I don't know, Gandhi. Well, it says, what game are you dying to play? Probably assuming that I'm, the game is not out yet. I am waiting to play the Old Hunters DLC for Bloodborne, sure. and thus waiting is tantamount to living, which is just dying. So I guess Rise of the Tomb Raider, because mm. I'm loving the last Yeah, one I'll now. actually play. I'm going to play the crap out of that game. Like For all the torture porn critiques, like yeah. I actually liked the design of that game a lot. I was disappointed by the, a lot of the story, but... I, I got bored. Don't really care about the but story. she looks good. You shouldn't honest. care about the story. She looks like a person. Not, it's a yeah. silly, yeah. silly story. That's what I mean. Okay. About weird she Japanese like myths that don't have anything to do with yeah. anything. Yeah. I'm excited to play Hyperlight Drifter. That's not not a bullshit like Your Honor. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, did you just call <laughs> them Your Honor? Where's your mic? <laughs> <laughs> it got lost in the water. <laughs> She's been talking on her leg the entire time. So everything you've said, you can't hear. Oh boy. Well, we didn't listen anyway, because no. Dog Park. If I were to sum up what Elise has been saying, it's, uh, yeah, Dog Park, <laughs> Home Free, Hyper Light yeah, Drifter. Yeah. Oh, what I said is I am excited for Hyper Light Drifter. Who else yeah. asked a question? I'm excited to play. Oh, Wait, right. so have they not heard any of the questions? I mean, maybe. This show's real fast and loose, it doesn't Alex. Matter. None of this matters. The, quest- the what question game is, what do you want to play, Mike Hook? I want to play, um, I kind of, man, I really want to play Night in the Woods. I'm really psyched about that game. Um, I love that video, by the way, by that guy. Oh, the uh, misogyny one Scott or Benson's video, uh, But I'm a uh, Nice Guy. But I'm a Nice Guy. Nice guy. Google that it. movie is, or The Scott's Matrix a is a good movie. Scott's is a really, sm- yeah, really oh, smart I guy. I watched that video. That game's going to be super cool. Yeah. I thought it was out. Nope. 
No, well, they, that, that's so a classic Kickstarter. Well, this is actually something cool they've done is that every year around Christmas time, around the holidays, they've released a holiday episode of mm -hmm. their game that's really good. I think mm. they've done two of them now. Who? Um, the Night, Night in the Woods, Woods guys. I've never played that. Oh. oh. Well, so the game is not out yeah, yet. I think you need to play it. It was also Kickstarter. Night in the Woods? Yes. I think you need to get, get going cool on what look. this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You need to get you need to get your brains on that knowledge. I need to sit oh, there. Yeah. It's a it's about uh, kids in, in the the Rust Belt of Pennsylvania, it's, um, like and living in the, one of these towns where the industry is totally gone and it's kind of a dead town, but everyone just kind of like is just living their life. It's just very Sounds I don't know. It's like really interesting. Oh yeah, it's a it's a kick. Uh, no, but I mean, but it's, aren't they like cat people or something? Yeah, all the people oh, are like animals like and stuff. Oh, so it's beautiful. So it's a game. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's like out right game. now. It's no. a statement, but oh. you can you can pay you what you want. Keep about if it's out. They, it's they like released the it. Um, so it's out right now. <laughs> I can play it right now. They, they I am playing thing. it right now. Lost Constellation is what um, the thing they released over the holidays is oh. that you can go and like pay what you want. I think to play now, mm -hmm. but the actual game night was just come out to next year. They're like the the Kentucky Red Zero guys. They keep putting out those little. Baby but the fifth chapters. one's out. Well, sort isn't of. It? What? Is no. Four and five. These are like little little. Yeah. Kentucky Road Zero is still just three episodes. Yeah, yeah. Kentucky Road Zero is like and a they're continuation. And phenomenal. Yes, they are. Episode Act Three was bananas with it that was music bananas. in the middle. God damn. Yeah, no spoilers. I, I've played it. I no still have not played that. Oh, uh, play it. I know. Oh, it's but so I only good. have so many hours Our, in the day, that's your, make your and game. I'm making Wait, so a video so game, and it's five, hard. All five chapters aren't out. No, Correct. Just three. Just the just first three. three. They've oh, gotten slow, like slower and slower. Um, but everyone seems to be fine with it. Yeah, because it's high art. Yeah, you can't rush it. I kind of want to play Final Fantasy 15. This is, I'm I, I kind of peaked. I hit my curve of like growing up and get, and not being excited about things anymore. And now I'm yeah. okay with being excited again. Oh. Where it's like you know what? Damn it. Sure. I'm over 13. Uh, Ugh. I didn't play 14 because it doesn't count because it's online. Sorry. That's an MMO. It doesn't, well, it's it's a good MMO. Me, it had some nice moments. I got yeah. tired of it. Uh, yeah. No, it's I actually fine. hear it's pretty good. But I was born before the internet, so. That's not true. The internet was born anyway. Do you remember um, though before the internet? I, I sure do. When I Encyclopedia first, Britannica. Yeah. Mm. I got my first email and I thought my dad would be mad at me for some reason. Oh yeah, because it's like uh, weird notes. Mine, yeah. mine was all I had a hot uh, Netscape Explorer and then yeah. I transitioned to AOL. Oh my mm. god. Those were, those we we never days. had AOL. <laughs> Heady days. I had a, I had a 28 baud modem. That was oh, hot whoa, shit. Yeah. I had an 18-bit processor. Oh. Whoa, that's crazy because yeah, that, it didn't good. exist. So you must have been in a fantasy world. <laughs> it was a cardboard box. What a fantasy uh, world right now. The cardboard box. Who is. else asks questions? I wait. I will say, oh, I don't God. get excited about games very often anymore. I don't get excited anymore. about anything. It's hard to get excited when you're a dead person. When your soul has been wrenched from I don't your even eyes like puppies. Right so. I, yeah, <laughs> we're all dead yeah, here. Yeah, he doesn't even like dogs. What the Soulless fuck? humans. I do like home free though. But I'm with you, Teddy. Like <laughs> dog I, I, dog I've, or whatever you called I've it. I've gotten dog back dog. into like dog park. It's dog, a great. I'm dog super. No, wait. God damn uh, yeah. it. No, but Alex, like, finish your important, your I'm, meaningful point, and then we'll. I, I I'm back into like I can get excited about a few things. Yeah. Like Fallout and fucking Street Fighter Five. I'm fucking excited. Fuck yeah. Sure. I want to feel again. When does that happen? Never, if you because don't let it. The hype train is crushing our excitement. <laughs> mm. We need we're to derail it. We're all on the it. crazy train now, too. Yeah. Oh, well, it's the hype train, and also we're adults. 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 Adults just feel with, less. With pressures and things, yeah. and, and less so less many, and less. so many. You're stuffs. more like excited to like you know feel loved or yeah. not so lonely or worried about right. death. That's so, what like, I want. Video games are like a close second to those. Yeah, they're like on a more. <laughs> yeah, but if a video game makes me think not about death. Then it's yeah. good. I, I find sure. I find when I do have or to love, think about it in a way that then I can you. be excited about games and stuff. Mm. But like the other Street Fighter is life, so that's why I feel excited about life. I'm so bad at fighting games. I'm so. Bad I wish games. I was good at them. Get better. Well, I time. don't think I'll. Yeah, put you can't wish you, you can't wish your way to success. I don't think success. I'm gonna put my Practice. effort into that. Practice makes Zangief. Oh. Hey, what's another question? Yeah, what's another question? Classes uh, lady that they just announced. That's, like, that's pretty much it for the questions that I had. There are more. Yeah. I see them. No, that's it. No. What no. else? Who else? No. What's Who your favorite else? weapon no. with dog? Make them up. What What's you your guys? favorite Batman? What's a Batman? Batman. Um, well, we kind of do have to wrap up because they might come in here and stream now. What time so is it? Five fifty. Oh shit. Whoa. What's your favorite Batman? Real fast. Fat man. Okay. George Clooney. Okay. Pizzaman. <laughs> John Pizzaman. Yeah. No, my favorite Batman. Sure. Everyone's favorite Batman is the animated series, right? Yeah. Mm, Dark Knight Returns. Uh, Adam West. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Ah. I, I think I think the animated series Tass. 
Do you think when little kids Beyond or like, was fun. Uh, not little kids, but like mm, young folk watch, uh, they go back and they watch because they all watch Batman with Adam West in it, that they think that's that guy from Family Guy. Yes. They, they go, the mayor was Batman. This was a great joke <laughs> they that you followed do. through on. I'm glad that you went entirely. They probably do. Yeah, do you want to feel old? Anyways. Adam West was born in 1750. <laughs> <laughs> we that are makes old. me feel young. <laughs> Well, uh, you could feel even older by talking about old video games and how people are like, that's a rip-off of this, except that game came out before. Like what? Uh, Clearly you have something queued up. Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a rip-off of Donkey Kong. Did you know <laughs> that they, the reason they themed the Pac-Man the way they did, they did oh an interview boy. with like, the lead designer, and he was like, well, arcade games were really popular with men, Here we go. but they were in bars, and there's lots of women in bars, so we were like, this is a true story. He was, they were like, what would women like to play? And like, well, what do women like? Women, balls. women love balls. well balls, but that's not what they said. Eating. So like, well, women love to eat. So we're gonna make a game all about eating things, Ooh. and that was why there's uh, Pac-Man. They eats know I love, burger, love some Burger Time. Burger Time, real complex. I game. do game. like Burger Time. So fucking making hamburgers. Burger Time is hard really game. stressful. It's, really it's a hard it's game. Hard. Fucking eggs and hot dogs oh chasing you. It's good at making you think <laughs> like you're gonna shakers. be able to do it. The stuff of nightmares. Yeah, Lay yeah. Time. You're always like, I can do it this time. I'm stressed yeah. out just thinking that game is oh a nightmare. God, it's so. I good. hate Burger Time. I'm totally reversing my position on it. Fuck that game. Stress mess. You know what game is awesome though? Discs of Tron. Discs of Tron. Ooh. Have you guys Discs played that? Is that the one with the joystick? They've got it at the bar at 82. 82. Yeah, I think. I oh my that. god! And the lighting and the 3D. Are you Discs in the booth of for that? Tron. Okay. Does anybody know? Out on Steam no, now. No, Ian disappeared it. for like 30 minutes. I was like, where were you? And he was like, Discs of Tron. I've I've played this Discs of Tron. Like oh, do you guys go to 82? We should go to 82. Let's go to 82. What is that? It's, it's that, that bar, bar downtown. The arcade downtown. bar. Yeah. Bar arcade? district. Populated yeah. with a suspicious amount of attractive ladies for a video game themed. Hey, ladies. Suspicious? Ladies like hey, video wait, games. Don't yeah, yeah, that was offensive. You know, ladies love cool games. Ladies love cool games. 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 Cool Whoa. Games. Whoa. LL Cool G. Whoa. That's true. Cool G. It's because I mean, ladies I know I that phrased it wrong. video games are the new rock band. That's true. And they're like, hey, I want dudes with money. Because that's also what ladies like. They like eating and they like so, money men. Money 82 man. is really. Mm, there's nothing else. Let's talk about arcade bars for a second. Bar 82 Barcades, is a bar in Los Angeles that's like really well positioned because like. It actually attracts like a, a broad clientele. It's yeah, not just a bunch of nerds. That's what I was like, trying to say. It I wasn't it. only nerd people like us. Mm. Clientele. I you know, it attracts a broad clientele. Uh, yeah. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Um, so no, it's cool. Sexy. It's like in a, it's in like an artsy oh, you're, you're part of downtown. You're an attractive woman. Excuse me. I'm a I'm a wishful thinker. Yeah. And Teddy's a yachtsman. Let's Teddy's go to a yachtsman. eighty-two. I'm Let's just well, I'm just a husk. You're just a beauty <laughs> a beauty husk. A beauty husk. A shell. Alex Preston, a beauty husk. The undead one. Quit sexualizing me. I'm not sexualizing I you. I feel victimized. I don't feel the desire for sex anymore. Yeah. We have to wrap up the show. <laughs> 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 we actually do, though. Okay, bye. Kick us out of here. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, anyway, thank you guys for coming on. Thanks we, for having us. We Thanks. really do enjoy Hyperlight Drifter a lot, and we're looking forward to it. You want to tell people where they... Don't stop rolling. You g Hurry up. You want to oh God! Where they can check out Hyperlight Drifter. Oh, uh, 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 heartmachine.com. Heart, heart hyphen hyphen. Just hyperlightdrifter.com works. Don't do that. That's scary. You're you can pre-order the game, and we have prints and T-shirts like the one Alex is wearing I'm right wearing now. Yeah. It can be yours. Hello. I think I'm gonna get that one because Ian has the other one. That's yeah. a good T-shirt. I have both. Oh, you I have both? both? Oh, I bought them. Fuck. I bought the, this one from Bob Light. Oh. And I bought the other one. Oh, look at that elbow. elbow. What's up? Yeah, hyperlightdrifter.com slash uh, pizza. And, and uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Yeah. Thanks for having us. And we're doing a rock band stream on GT on Monday. Oh. 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're doing a battle of the bands. So you guys won't be involved in that, obviously. Yeah. But When I'm involved, it's not a battle. Whoa. Oh, burn. boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, Twitch.tv slash game trailers will be doing that. Ooh, um, this is like uh, this is Cloverfield. Scary. I'm scared. Uh, I'm uh, sick. Uh, but yeah, well, uh, well, thank you for coming on and being scared and sick. Thanks for we having appreciate us. appreciate it. Thanks for almost killing me with water. Everyone here is very me. attractive. Thank you. And lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Not and today. you <laughs> at home. Yeah, you too. You're you too, also audience. Lovely. Thanks a lot. And thanks for watching. Bye. This has been, this has been, what is this? <laughs> <laughs>
Good question. What Mandatory update what nights. I'm your host, Alex Preston. What? Um, tuck in your kids and don't do. Uh, no, do drugs. Do drugs. Don't do crime. Yeah. <laughs> or the games will get you. Ladies love cool games. Good night. Pizza. Perfect.